Good morning everyone and welcome back to Inglorious Fishing. As you can see I'm walking down the marina, just came through the gates there, walking down the gangway. It is a big spring tide today, it is 10 meter tide. We've already got Johnny 500 down here and we're going to go out to try and do a little bit of bream scatter mackerel fishing and then we're going to go and do the lobster pots as well. So I already done the lobster pots outside the harbour yesterday. We had one keeper lobster and a couple of small brown crab. Well, today we're going to do the ones up around Herms. Hope you're going to enjoy it. We're going to just start getting the boat prepped, start making our way out there, and hopefully we get a few of these fish today. And yeah, give us a comment if you like it. And let's get to it. Let's go and get these fish. Johnny Five Oh. Well, we just arrived to the destination. Check that out for a cruise ship. The Regal Princess. Princess Cruises. Fantastic cruise ship. All the little tug boats going to it. Passenger ferries. Coming out of St. Peterport Harbour. Dropping the passengers on and off the cruise ship. Fantastic. Beautiful. It's not too bad out here. 10 metre spring tide, so there's a lot of tide. Johnny's just getting the scallop frills ready. Check them out. Big shout out to Pete the Diver, who's a few boats up from me. Gave me these scallop frills, fantastic, beautiful, beautiful bait. So we're gonna get these hooks baited up and we're gonna get them down, hopefully hook into a few fish. Hi right, everyone, we're fish on already. It's not a big fish by the feel of it. Oh, it's gone. Well, we did have a fish on, it's gone now. I was trying to get the camera on, sorry about that. Let's get back down, see if we can get him again. Definitely a few fish down there. Oh, I'm hitched. I'm out. Be careful. We're going to go up for another drift. I'll bring you back if we get one. Okay, okay everyone, we're up for another drift now. Just getting mine down. Johnny's already down. We're just coming up to the mark now. Get in. Yeah, you got him, fish on. Nice. Johnny's into the fish. He's not there. There oh, he is. Yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Nice black bream there. First fish of the day. Nice fish that. Nice black bream. Sure of him. Oh, 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 oh. Fine black bream there, everyone. Get a few more of these. Yep, got it. Got him? Yep. It's a great fun of the storm. Just keep going for mine, I just can't hook them up. Johnny's in again, everyone. Jeez, look at this bad boy. Oh, that's a nice one. Wow. Those look are the ones that. we want. That's a beauty, that one. That's those big baits you're putting on, Johnny. That is a nice bream, that one. Check the size of that one. Those are the ones you want. Well, we're going to go up for another drift. I'll give you a quick show of that black bream. Well, everyone, Johnny's on again. Unfortunately, I snapped off. Johnny's also just had another black bream. That's a beauty there. Another black bream. He's got another one on the way up. Just had a load of markings on the sounder there. Oh, Johnny's lost it, I think. Let's go back down. Come off, he's come off but we're gonna head up and go do the lobster pot shortly uh, tide is against us that tide is really ripping through so we're gonna have to head up there try and do these lobster pots it's gonna be quite treacherous doing them but hopefully we can get through them so everyone first fish for me fish on okay Johnny caught him finally he got him I have one fish, one black bream, which unfortunately the camera died as I was bringing it up. And it was only a small one, it weren't very big. That's not a bad one again. 
Got a nice black breeze. Another nice black bream there. We're gonna quickly head up, go and do these lobster pots now. Let's go get them. Okay, first string, let's get it up. It's a bit rough out here, everyone. Okay, first pot. As I said, there's a lot of tide here. Use the boat quite a bit just to help the winch pull the pot top. Brown crab, that's about it. Two brown crabs. Not very good in there. Not very good in there at all. So one small brown crab. Not brown crab there, but unfortunately it's shedding. You can tell by how clear it is underneath. That's gonna go. No good there in the first pot. See if the second pot brings us any luck. And again, a load of rubbish in there, not very good at all. Just a couple of small brown crabs. One there. So another one there, no good whatsoever. So we'll get rid of them. We're gonna bake these up and we'll get onto that second set. Huh? Yeah. Okay, that's the first pot done. Let's get our next one. There it is, look, the yellow one. Right there. Got him. Okay, second string. Nothing. Strange. Enough. There's no holes in the pots. Sometimes they can get out. Second pot, it's full of weed. What the hell's going on here? Pull all round my rack on it. That was some tangle. Same as this one, absolutely nothing. That's surprising. These pots normally do really well. Okay, let's go get onto that third, fourth and fifth string. Okay, third string. There is a lot of tide on these. So I've got the boating gear. We're just working along the boat in forward, just on tick over, just to help the wind. So we've got three strings here to do. And I normally do well on lobsters here, so I'm hoping we're gonna do all right. All we have in there is that's just a big brass. Gee, that was there was a lobster. Uh, no lobster, just a big brass. I'm pretty sure this is the smash fishing pot. All that's got is a small wrap. That is it. Not very good at all. Not very good. Now he's going to be going back. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 I've still got him. Oh, no, he's gone. Just a small wrap there. The second one's staying with us, he's a bit bigger. That's the second ras. We'll be keeping him for pot bait, which is great. All right, we're gonna bake this one up. Why not, eh? Never played them here before. Nice lobster in there. Oh, we got two lobsters in there. 
two lobsters. Okay, let's get the second one in. See if we've got any more lobsters. That lobster there is a keeper. It's only got one claw, but it's definitely a keeper. Just a bream and a few brown edible crabs. Not great, but we've still got something in there, so that's the main thing. Got another lobster in here. I don't know if that's going to be in size. I don't think so. Green bucket under the pot. I'll check them in a minute, everyone. Second pot of the fourth string. Nice black bream there. He's going to be used for pot bait. Fantastic. We've just got one, two, three brown edible crabs. And that's it. So we're going to bait this up and get onto the fourth, fifth string. The time is against us now. Let's go. Okay, let's get number five. Five. See how we do on this one. I believe this is the depot. We never really do that well on these, to be honest. Well, we were hitched in something, but not no more. Very good. I said we never do well in these. Let's get the second pot up. Johnny's just measured that lobster. It was too small. Oh, lobster! That's a keeper. Oh yeah, there's me saying we never catch anything in these. That's a proper one. It's a nice lobster in that one. Wow. Nice brown crab as well. That's a nice, nice, big male lobster. That everyone. Fantastic. Second keeper of the day. We're happy with that. Big claws on it. And you've got a small brown edible crab as well. Yeah, arms out, ready for war. Fantastic. Right, we're going to let that one go. We're going to bake these two up and we'll get onto that sixth and seventh set. Yes. Oh, got it. Number six. Should be another yellow one. So everyone, unfortunately, the GoPro ran out as we we're pulling off this sixth set. All we have is two brown crabs, nothing worth talking about. So we're going to play these out and I've managed to find the last two sets. Right. We'll get these ones out of here. And we've got 20 minutes. So hopefully in these 20 minutes, we can get these last two sets done. Let's get on to them. Time waits for no wire, no tide. And we got it. This one has drifted quite considerably from where I put it. That's probably down to the big spring tides moving them along. Now I've got, oh no, I've got two more strings here, Johnny. We ain't gonna be able to get them all done. Oh, well, we got a big full loss in there. Big, big full loss. You don't want that. That's a big bullass. We certainly don't want them in the pots. See the second pot? Hopefully there's a lobster in this one. No, we've got another bullass. Oh, we've got two bullass. Would you add them in eBay? Okay, everyone. Big one, that. Huh? <laughs> Angry male. <laughs> got one, two, three brown crabs in there. We are not wanting them. That's the first pot. Get this baited up. In the second pot, again, another bullos. This one's a female. There we go. She means business. If she could attack, she would. Look at the gnashes on that. Right, we're gonna get rid of her. And then her big boyfriend's gotta go as well. Here we go. Got another one there. Big boyfriend, big claspers on the bottom. Big male. Oh, let him go. 
and a big brown crab. Right, let's bake this up. We'll try and get one more set in. Okay, let's get one more last one. Uh, uh. Nearly. I think this is going to be the last set. We do have one more there, but we ain't going to have time to get onto it. That's due to the tides that we've got here. It's just a nightmare trying to pull crab pots. It'll have to be full throttle home, Johnny. <laughs> they are the ink wells. Nothing in that. Probably going to have nothing in the second pot, neither. Not very good. We got zilch, everyone. Right, I'm going to bake these up and we're going to start making our way in. Okay, everyone, that's that eight set out. We did have one more that we couldn't get on with because we don't want to miss the gate. So now it's time to put the hammer down and start heading home. Let's go. So everyone, I've tidied the boat up. The boat's all clean now. Only took me three quarters of an hour, but you need your boat clean. Just give you a show of the cats. Two fantastic lobsters there. That one being the biggest, big, beautiful male. And we had another male there, but that's only got one claw. But fantastic to have two lobsters out of seven or eight pots. Not really that great, but it's better than none, everyone. So hope you're enjoying the fishing adventures lately. And I hope to see you on the next one. It's Danny. See you next time, guys. Lobster mania.